Graduating from high school is a proud milestone for many, but the endless paths to the future can take some time and thought to navigate. Bright and kind 19-year-old Tiara Williams decided to take early childhood development classes at college, but before the semester began, she was gone. Today on Dark Matters, the disappearance of Tiara Williams. On June 18, 1996, Danielle Williams was delighted to welcome her daughter, Tierra Cacique Williams, into the world. After a school field trip to the Botanical Gardens, vibrant five-year-old Tierra brought her great-grandparents a sapling in a cup, insisting it be planted in the yard. As the years passed, the tree grew taller, bursting with life, and so did Tierra. She graduated from Dudley High School in 2014, where friends knew her as witty, spunky, and kind. By early 2016, she decided to go back to school at Guilford Technical Community College in Jamestown, North Carolina. At the same time, the 19-year-old, her younger brother, their grandmother, and mother, lived in the Stony Brook Apartments in Greensboro, and the proclaimed selfie queen was in good spirits, happy to be moving into the next stage of her life. But that joy was cut short when Tierra went for a walk and never came home. Because the semester started in about a week, Tierra spent the morning of Thursday, January 7th, 2016, at Guilford Technical Community College, signing up for classes in early childhood development. Mother and daughter spent the evening indoors, away from the plummeting temperatures and rain, taking down the Christmas tree. The two talked of Tierra's bright future and made plans to shop for a laptop and textbooks the next day. Tierra left, bundled for the weather. At approximately 8.30 p.m., Tierra, her boyfriend, who also lived in the Stony Brook complex, and her younger brother were seen walking together in the apartment's parking lot. She told the boys she was going to see a friend who also lived within the complex and that she would return in an hour. Departing on foot, she walked away with her phone, vanishing into the dark. From there, the GPS on Tierra's phone maps her path. She made it to her friend's apartment and was walking back towards home when the GPS signal stopped. Either her phone died or was deliberately turned off. Danielle confirmed Tierra did see her friend, but when she tried to get a hold of her daughter the rest of the night, there was no answer. The worried mother told Fox 8 News, she's never, ever been away 24 hours without us knowing where she is or hearing from her. The missing persons report was filed and the search began. Tierra had seemingly vanished. Authorities found no clues concerning her whereabouts after her GPS signal stopped that night. Friends, family, and even strangers hit the pavement, flyers in hand, going door to door, searching for and spreading the word about Tierra. Her photo looked down from 18 billboards across the Triad area and circulated across social media with over 14,000 people following the Help Find Tierra Williams Facebook page. But Tierra was nowhere to be found. Greensboro Police Department detectives felt that Tierra wouldn't have voluntarily vanished, especially with a new semester on the horizon. Unfortunately, the alternative meant she might have met foul play or be in danger. No specific details have been released to the public to avoid compromising the case, but after conducting interviews, authorities announced that the teenager's disappearance fell under suspicious circumstances. Tips were followed to their end and left investigators and family without any new information. On February 8, 2016, Greensboro Police Department used tracking dogs to scour the Stony Brook apartment complex, but find no clues to where Tiara might be or what might have happened to her. 
One month later, in March, police received several tips concerning a post on Instagram that some believe might be connected to Tierra's disappearance. The user behind the post claimed he'd overheard a conversation between two people discussing Tierra, and he believed one of the individuals might know where she was. Within 15 minutes, however, police had ruled out what he'd heard as an unrelated conversation. Even though Crime Watch Daily aired a piece on Tierra's disappearance the same month, authorities were back to square one. In April, Danielle reported that the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children had added her daughter's information to their database. In May, a new detective took over Tierra's case with the hopes that a fresh pair of eyes might make a break in it, but there's been a little development since. In August that same year, Danielle told MFMY News 2, As of today, unfortunately, we do not have any viable updates or leads. GPD still considers it an ongoing case and we are following up on any tips or calls we receive. We are currently still working social media to keep the word out and her face prevalent. Our family asks everyone to still continue to keep sharing and praying. Also to keep their eyes and ears open for any information in regards to her or anyone involved in her disappearance. No info is too small. We want her home, and we know she wants to be home. No one deserves this kind of pain or anguish. Our family has remained in prayer and hope for her safe return. Someone knows something. The silence has gone on entirely too long. I would like to urge anyone who knows anything to please speak out so we can get her home to us. Also, the family would like to thank the community for all of their help, love, and concern with my daughter's disappearance. Tierra's disappearance reached over a million people on social media, but the wait for answers is agonizing for family. There's been no signal from Tierra's phone since the night she vanished, no texts or calls, and dialing her number sends the caller to her full voicemail inbox. Her social media pages have also been silent, unusual for the proclaimed selfie queen. Danielle never dreamed she'd be using those selfies to try and locate her missing daughter. However, hope is not lost for the Williams family. Danielle said detectives were following several specific theories and have narrowed down certain individuals that possibly have more information than they've shared thus far. Though she wakes every day without answers and without her daughter, Danielle is confident her daughter is alive and she believes she is being held against her will. She told Crime Watch Daily, My motherly instincts tells me that she's still alive and that if she could be home, she would be home. Two years have passed since Tierra Williams vanished in the night. But for her mother, time hasn't softened the blow of her daughter's disappearance. It makes her ache to see her again even more. On the year anniversary of her daughter's disappearance, Danielle made plans to be near family. She said, I get out of bed with prayer and hope, and put forth the hope that maybe today is the day. Susan Danielson, a spokeswoman with the Greensboro Police Department, said, We have not given up on finding her. Somebody knows something, so we encourage anyone with the smallest amount of information to give us a call. And Danielle has a similar appeal to the authorities. She told the Greensboro News and Record, I just want to plead to whoever knows anything to dig deep within their heart and speak up, even if they want to remain anonymous. Let's end this nightmare and bring her home. Tierra Cacique Williams was 19 years old when she vanished. She had brown hair and eyes, was 5 feet 5 inches tall, 120 pounds, and had pierced ears. She also had her left nostril pierced and wore a stud in it. Tierra has a nickel-sized burn scar on her right wrist and was last seen wearing blue Levi jeans, a black North Face jacket, a pink shirt, and a royal blue knit cap with white Jordan sneakers. If you have any information on the circumstances surrounding Tierra's disappearance, please contact the Greensboro Police Department at 336-373-2292.
1-800-273-8222. Or you can submit an anonymous tip by calling Crime Stoppers at 336-373-1000 or 1000 or texting your tip to 274637 using the keyword bad boys with a Z at the end. Special thanks to the Patreon family. The names you see on screen are just some of the people who financially contribute to this channel, whether they are passionate about cases like Tierra's or the other dark content on this channel, their support cannot be overstated. If you are interested in supporting the channel, information is in the description, but even if you only continue to support by watching, thank you. Thank you for giving Tierra's case a moment of your time, and my heart goes out to her family and friends. They've gone too long without answers, and we all hope closure can begin soon. And no matter what you choose to believe or what you speculate, I ask you only for respect in the comments below, both for Tierra and her family. And remember, though these may be dark matters, the darkness always matters. Thank you for watching the video. Exposure to cases such as Tierra's is highly important. And thank you all for your continued support and for always receiving these cases openly and respectfully. Stay safe, friends, and have a good night.